Hello, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I have a 2018 Toyota Sequoia TRD Sport. It's got some cool styling features on the outside, some mechanical upgrades, and a really roomy cabin. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior, then we'll hop inside and go for a drive. Okay, let's start with the exterior here. We have a really cool grill. Got some matted black that ties in with the chrome. We have some chrome accents below in the lower spoiler. Um, going around the lower spoiler, we have a black mat there. We come to the sides and we have these really cool black mat wheels with some wrapped in some bridge stones. We have the blacked out TRD Sport badge on the side here. Same black wheels. You can see if this will zoom out. There we go. Uh, in there, we have a little telltale sign of that red paint. We'll get to that in a second. Come around the sides here. And we have these really big tail lamps that are typical Sequoia. Um, but we have some black mat back here that's wrapped in some chrome as well. Okay, so we got matte black. We got body color matched door handles, and we have black on our name Let's go ahead and pop this the back hatch, and I'll show you what we got back here. What the trash cans. Okay, so back here, we have three rows. I do have powered in the three rows as well. Put my golf clubs back here kind of as an example. You can fit like one set of golf clubs across the back. And then we have the three, three rows. We do have some cup holders in the back. Let's go ahead and hop in the second row. I got captain's chairs in the second row. I do have the TRD Sport on the sills. nice is I have a nice big grab handle here kind of your typical Toyota inside I have big black matted uh, interior and some just some chrome finish on the panel there so and zoom out the best I can see our front and then we'll come down here and we can see we have some temperatures, uh, some heating cool controls. I got plenty of leg room. Uh, plenty of room inside. Really roomy cabin. And we can see our air vents up top. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward and hop in the front seat. So in the front we have the big dials that are reminiscent of Toyota's uh, truck, like their Forerunner has the same kind of size dials. They have really kind of a small screen. This uh, Sequoia is kind of long in the tooth. We'll go ahead and turn that up so I can get some uh, AC going. See the screen cup up. Move that back. There's our digital date gauges. I do have some lights, some mirror controls. Got all your um, heating cool, cool controls. I got the steering wheel controls, as well as the adaptive cruise there and lane departure assist there. Um, those are new this year. So, and then tow haul and a locking room differential. I go ahead and throw my GoPro up and let's go for a drive. All right, before we go for a spin, let me uh, get the sheet out and talk to you all about this TRD Sport so I get all my numbers correctly. Uh, it is a TRD Sport Sequoia, so it's the same size as like a Tahoe Yukon. It's the same full big SUV. The TRD Sport Premium Package is what I have. 
$3,810 is the price point. Seven passenger black leather trim seats with contrast stitching. Yep. Uh, heated 10 way power adjustable driver's seat, four way power adjustable front passenger seat, power reclining and full flat third row, which I showed you the button, the Intune premium audio, navigation app suite, auto dimming rear view mirror, compass, home link, universal transmitter. Uh, I got a glass breakage sensor, I got wheel locks, I got paint protection film. The uh, That's all options of about, uh, looks like about $4,300. The uh, TRD, turn, TRD Sport has the TRD tuned Bilstein front and rear shocks. It has TRD tuned front and rear anti sway bars. So it's going to hold, it holds tight. I'll show you this, we're driving. Um, it's got double wishbone and suspension, 20 inch black wheels. It's got the 5.7 liter V8, the big Toyota's uh, 5.7 liter V8. Uh, fuel economy, ugh, 13, 17, 14 combined. Not great. Uh, I do have a rear backup camera, a small one, blind spot monitor, and I have the uh, all the Toyota Safety Sense technology, which is the pre collision system, the pedestrian detection, auto high beams, dynamic radar crews, um, all the good stuff. Oh, and the air conditioning works pretty well. Boy, is it getting hot in here fast. Uh, TRD Sport black satin side bar badging. TRD Sport chrome with black insert on the front. Uh, tilt, sudden remove, moonroof. And I got dual climate control, three, three zone, 40, 20, 40. The rear seat, uh, second row seat with full access. So lots of great features. Um, the the 5.7 the liter should be, it's with a six speed transmission. That's what it, yep. Uh, total price is $60,219. Got to do the seatbelt. All right, let's do it. Big hole right here. Let's avoid it or go into it. Either way. All right, th this 5.7 liter, I've owned a Tundra. I've driven these 5.7 liters quite a bit. I actually just got done driving the new 5.3 liter in the Silverado and the Sierra. Uh, no, I didn't drive a Sierra. I drove a 6.2. The 5.7 in this is is awesome. It, it's just enough power. It's 410 horsepower, or 410 foot-pounds of torque, uh, like 390 horsepower. It's just a big, throaty V8 and a thirsty V8, as I said, with fuel economy. So, you know, you, you, this is not a Prius. Don't treat it as such. Um, it, it's big and powerful. It's more powerful than the 5.3, I think, and from Chevy offers. Uh, it's just a great engine, really reliable. Um, million mile Tundra. Google it or search on this channel. I just the video on the, that story I found. Uh, I like I said, I just enjoy driving it. It's very reliable engine. Uh, this powertrain is really reliable. It's the trade-off you give. So you give up the fuel economy, but you get the reliability. Pro and con. Um, this Sequoia on the interior and overall, it's an old platform. You know, this it was interesting. My wife got into this vehicle, and she immediately thought of our 2013 Tundra, and that was five model years ago. Uh, because the interior layout is just about the same. And I don't think they've, they've improved it since then. And I don't blame them. You know, I just looked at the numbers, and they sell less than a 1,000 of these a month. Uh, they're just, you know, when you look at total overall, they sell three times as many Camrys, and they sell four times as many RAV4s as they do a Sequoia. But, you know, this is the thing that kills me with, this, with the marketplace, is that Tahoe, Yukon, and Escalade sales are all like crazy. Um, especially, they keep coming out with more premium editions of those SUVs. You're talking seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollar SUVs. Heck, that's today's probably pushing six K. You got the new Lincoln Navigator that's pushing uh, not six thousand, six six figures. I meant to say six figures. You even got the new Lincoln Navigator pushing six figures. I mean, by the time you option all out and you get all the numbers straight out, you're coming close to those numbers. And here you have the Sequoia, and you have companies like Toyota, Nissan's guilty of it as well that just aren't competing in that segment. And I don't understand it. This is what consumers are buying. This is what's flying off the lots. Uh, SUV sales for GM, uh, Yukon, Tahoe, and, and Escalade are all up double digit year over year. And so it seems to me that they'd be building more of these. They'd be building more luxury versions. There should be a platinum version, a platinum, platinum version, and this should be a full redesign. But it's just kind of crazy that there's no money being put towards this product. Now the TRD Sport is the first uh, you know, new trim a little for it. it has, it's been a long time since they had a trim level come out for this, and it's a new one. And, you know, I like the styling of it. I think it looks pretty cool. I think I could see this around some different places. You know, it's, it's, it's a 
It's a hip looking SUV. But I, again, it's really old it's tech inside. So I think until they improve the interior tech and improve the seats, the seats are comfortable, but it's just not a very stylish look. And so I, I think that they're gonna have a lot of trouble still selling these until they put the money into it, until they do a lot more to really improve the product. So in the product, I mean vehicle, I talk in marketing terms probably way too much. There you go, there's my thoughts in a 2018. Is it 18 or 19? Let's look at that real fast. 18, what am I thinking? 18, a magnetic gray 2018 Toyota Sequoia TRD Sport. And for more pickup truck and SUV news, check us out on pickuptrucktalk.com. Also, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all variations of pickup truck talk, pickup truck plus SUV talk, depending on what they request on the service. They allow me to put it in my, my keyboard. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.